What's going on, Skid? Got an AC not cooling. You can hear the presser. The compressor trying to come on. Hear that? That's the compressor. The fan's coming on, but not the compressor. Let's see which one it is. That one right there. All right, sorry, my phone rang. All right, I pulled the disconnect. Power's off. Pop the cover off, see what's going on. Yeah, this is a two-ton straight cool Goodman. This also has the rotary compressors in it and a five, was it five two one compressor saver inside here? I'll show you here in a second. These things have little hard starts on them. I guess for the rotary compressor. The other ones have a uh, Copeland scroll, you know, regular compressors. Yeah, there we go. As you can see, they have little hard start kits in them. A little relay and the capacitor. I'll look at a little dead frog on there. I'm sure that didn't help anything. Sorry, little buddy. You crawled in the wrong unit. At least you could have died in a train, big dog, not a good one. All right, we'll check the capacitor here. Discharge the cap here. Get all the energy out of there. I hadn't made a video because I was on vacation last week. I took the family to the beach. A little rest and recreation. We go to St. George Island here in Florida. Now I take all the wires off <clears throat> so the new guys can see. Okay, Supertex, I know you don't have to take all the wires off, but I do it. Also, a guy who taught me said to do it because sometimes you can get funky readings with the wires on but a lot of super techs love to let me know you don't have to take all the wires off I know I just do it so the new guys can get a good look at it all right on the top here it's hard to see but it says fan that's C for common and the back is Herm the compressor is not coming on so we're gonna check between C and Herm all right, I had to turn this capacitor to see the microfarad. So between common and herm, you want to see 45. And between common and fan, you want to see 5. A lot of guys ask, how do I know what kind of capacitor do I need? You got to look at the one that's on, the, on your unit and replace it with exactly the same microfarads. Now, my, my meter says cap, but most meters say MFD for, for microfarads. So let's go between Herm and C. There we go. 41.5. It's a little low. Remember, it's supposed to say 45 or at least around 45. So 41 is a little low. Now here's a little cheat sheet that I carry in my phone. You can screenshot this and save it to your phone if you'd like. So the capacitor is 45 microfarads. Anything below 42.75, I'm going to change it out. Anything over 49, I'm going to change it out. Remember, the one we have in here right now is 41. So definitely below the range, so I'm going to change it. And we'll also check the hard start, too. I found out that when these get low, it'll cause the breaker to pop sometimes. I guess the compressor's struggling to turn on, so it pops the breaker. So if you got one of these on your unit and your breaker's popping, Check that. It should be around 80 microfarads. I'm going to pop the wires off and check it as well. All right, the little hard start in there. See right there, it says 88 to 108 MFD. Anything below 88, I'm changing her out, baby. That's what you want. You want to see 88 microfarads or above. So let me pop the wires off here. 1.7. That's nowhere near 88, so... I'm gonna get another little hard start, throw it on, and another 45 slash five capacitor. This is my first video with this style. The old rotary compressor with a hard start. All right, Skid, I got my 521 compressor saver with the hard start. You just throw everything on. Easy peasy, I'll leave a link to one of these in the description below. You can order it and have it delivered to your house. 
and also got my new capacitor 45 slash 5 I'll leave a link to uh, capacitors too as well and I won't do this on camera but just a little tech tip take your meter and test the new capacitor because I've been getting some bad ones right out of the box lately so just a little tech tip make sure it's fully charged just mounting the new one in I'm just gonna hook the wires back up the way it, the way it was take a picture if you need to there's my old one these 45s are a beast man big gonna go back the way it was red to common the reds and purples go to common yellow goes to herm remember herm is your compressor hermetic and brown is the fan just the one one terminal there easy peasy all right now we'll put on the new hard start testing out the new hard start here as you can see we got 111.2 remember the bad one was what 1.7 or something like that so this is good let's mount it all right hard start mounted let's check our work make sure all the wires are in the right spots yellows on herm red purples on common brown on fan everything looks good to me skid all right let's shoot the juice to it Come on, big money, no whammy. Oh yeah. Fired right up. I hear the compressor. It's not going burn like it was when we showed up. Let's go ahead and write the microfarads and the data on it. Oh, you can still see it right there. That'll work. I'll write the date on it. I will do the microfarads anyway. 45.5. 70121 Lex. Oh Lexi boy. Alright guys, I think they're gonna be good to go here. Oh yeah, the line's already getting cold. Getting some sweat on it. They're gonna be good to go. I'm gonna button it up and drive on to the next adventure. Again, I'll leave all the tools and the parts in the video description below. You can order it and have it delivered to your house. Alright guys, thank y'all for watching. See you in the next one. Ladies.